Hi guys, Rebecca here. I wanted to do a quick review on some paper that I bought. Um, excuse me, I did not buy this paper. It was sent to me from a friend in the UK and it actually started out as a long story, but I'm going to make it short for you. I have an A5 file of facts that I keep meeting notes in. I need to use paper that is uh, already hole punched and so well, I, I guess I didn't think this um, plan through very well, but I bought the Philofax, Philofax Flex, and I really didn't pay that much close attention to it when I was actually um, buying it when I was in Chicago. But the pages do not have any type of perforation, of course, and no hole, hole punches. So I literally had to tear out the pages cut them along the edge so that they wouldn't look torn, and then hole punch them. Hello, that's a little bit too much work for me. So I moved on to my Filofax friends. I don't know why I can't get that word out today. And I asked them to recommend a particular paper product that would easily be able to fit A5 planners, hence the A5 planner there. Uh, because the U.S. uses primarily... Uh, a, oh, not A4, um, eight and a half by 11 as their normal sheet of paper. It Sometimes it's hard, but this is about the closest I came to in the A5 size. As you can see, it is pretty similar in size. It's just slightly larger, okay? Anyway, they recommended this book. It is called the Oxford Active Book. I'm gonna review it in just a second, but I wanted to show you what I bought in the meantime because I had to go to New York and I needed to take meeting notes, so I couldn't wait. And so I ended up purchasing this one. It is from Cambridge Mead. It is a meeting style book. So there is a, um, a spot at the top to you know uh, record the meeting name or project name along with dates. There's action item column, etc. It is perforated as you can see here, but not hole punched. One benefit to this page was that the back side of the page looks like a plain, ordinary notebook page, so you can take plenty of notes on that particular project. However, I did have to hole punch each of these um, individually. So as you can see here, um, a, a, one of the pages I've pulled out, and it did come out cleanly, and I was able to hole punch it and put it in my file of facts. However, um, that was last week, and this week I received the... Oxford Active Book. I'm in love with this book. So, inside it's a plastic cover, heavy duty plastic cover. Inside it even says, for the demanding and well organized business people and academics. Hmm, that would be me. Anyway, all of this is in um, different languages. I don't even know what some of these languages are, but I think it um, pretty much addresses every Everybody. Um, maybe not Japanese, because I don't think I see any of that. But you also have a time zone section and then a paper pocket. This is made out of like a heavier duty cardboard, cardstock paper where you can put notes and so forth. This is a, it's meant to be a divider tab where you can put your divider wherever your last note was. So this quickly and easily comes out of the binder. Then this is where the notes come in. So as you can see, they are already lined with an action row or a number row, whatever you so choose to. As you can see, it has perforations and they're already pre-hole punched. So I love that. Now I did try to tear one out using the perforated lines. And I noticed that when I did, it started to rip one of the holes. So you might be able to see a little bit of the tear on that one. So I highly recommend that if you're going to take the pages out of here, that you just take it out at the spiral, just like I did here. What I did was I ended up just folding that edge down, and of course I um, can't do this one-handed, but I folded the edge down on the perforation and was easily able to cleanly tear that edge off without tearing the holes. I'm not gonna do it now because of my one-handed sloppiness, but um, but it tore quite 
uh, easily from the page and this is what it looks like. No tears in any of the holes. And I was able to take meeting notes today and I used it quite well. When flipping over, you can see not much bleed through. I was using a Le Pen on that piece of paper and it did not really do poorly in my opinion as far as I could write again more notes on this side. The one thing that this doesn't have compared to the other notes was that the other note, if you remember, had a clean slate of just note writing. On this one, the back side is the same as the front in setup, so although I don't really care for the back side to be identical, uh, it's not a deal breaker. Anyway, but I love the paper. And then once you're ready, you just simply take the page and slip it right into your file of facts, just like so. And I also wanted to point out the size difference of that paper compared to the mead. So I've got an extra sheet and I've lined it up with the paper from the active book. And as you can see, there is, the active book paper is quite um, narrower than the uh, mead paper that is underneath it. So let me lift that up a little bit better and there you can see that line. I love that because it stays cleanly um, the same size as the Filofax paper that's in my planner without any overlap and then I can't see my divider tabs behind it. So it works out perfect. So if you um, are looking for an alternative to the Filofax uh, line pages, this is a, a great alternative. They were rather inexpensive from my understanding. I didn't purchase them, but I think they were about four books for 20 pounds, and I'm not even sure price-wise if I'm correct on that. However, this does say that it is lined six millimeter A5 detachable paper with 80 sheets in each book with a paper um, quality of 80 GSM. Also, if you would like to learn more about these planners, you can go to www.my-oxford.com. Anyway, I hope that this uh, review was helpful, and if you're looking for something to replace your meeting notes, this might be a suggestion for you. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and if you like the video, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.